It's an upside down, topsy turvy world we're living in. And there's only one thing that can set it right winning this damn election. You are either on the side of mob rule or you are on the side of law and order. Now, I know what's on your mind. I am on the side of mob rule. Tomorrow, I will be casting my ballot for Donald J. Trump. I don't know whether I'm going to be the defensive coordinator or the offensive coordinator. Your patience is commendable. We, we were winning everything. We knew this was going to go long. And all of a sudden, it was just called off. I can praise you. Uh, for retaining our House Democratic majority. They're going to lose seats, it looks like. But after all the votes are counted, we'll see uh, how much better we will do. Okay. We won states that we weren't expected to win. And we need to not ever use the word socialist or socialism ever again. In Florida, we didn't win it. We won it by a lot. I'm having a hard time understanding it. We're winning Pennsylvania. A little bit of the mail done tonight. They've said we're not even going to touch it until tomorrow. So there's a lot of the vote in that market. 13 counties, including Allegheny, where Pittsburgh is. That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail? What happened? And then they said, oh. Low-tech John King, OK? <laughs> uh, we were getting ready to win this election Frankly, we did win this election. It's not my place or Donald Trump's place to declare who's won this election. Joe Biden won this election. Looks like he won. I'm pretty sure he won. We want all voting to stop. Oh, and I wanted to count so much. We don't want them to find any ballots. This is very frustrating. Fox News has already called Arizona. <laughs> That's caused a lot of heartburn mm -hmm. in the Republican Party. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. Do you think we're stupid? You think we're fools? Is it the 21st century version of, uh, what is it, uh, Dewey, uh, Dewey defeats Truman? The fact that the president misspelled polls is just... <laughs> Chef's kiss. Making false statements on uh, on Twitter, uh, on, on excuse me, on Twitter. A lot of races, house races, they're still counting votes. Do you agree with the president? Should they stop counting votes? Working with the counties to make sure that they have properly put their stuff into their system and uploaded. A dump of votes there. We all thought this was going to be a very big. This was that this was going to be a very big. That this was going to be a very big dump of votes. Like many of y'all during this election cycle, they're tired. Wednesday morning, the Secretary it's of State. It's Blur's Day at this tweet. point. Yeah. It is officially Blur's Day. Sometimes they're going to forget to press the upload button. <laughs> the Biden crime family steals the election. The media is covering up. The Biden crime family steals this election. We want our freedom for the world. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. He's stealing it. Where were we? If you count the legal votes, I easily win. So far, there He's have been go to two cases of voter fraud, and they're both Republican. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. We are again in the unusual position of not only interrupting the president of the United States, but correcting the president. The president's allegations of large-scale fraud and theft of the election are just not substantiated. But Joe Biden's going to win the state, There's no question about it. Feel my spirit. I'm telling you, our president won this election. I wish we weren't wearing masks so we could see how exciting it is to come before you today. I have sent out what I want to say today about this situation in the tweet. I am so officially pleased with the outcome. I'm not certain I'm the majority leader yet, as you all may have noticed. That will be determined in Georgia on January the 6th. Are you being a sword leader?